Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a really cool side dish, a little something different. It's baked smoked paprika apples and it's going to go alongside some really nice pork chops tonight. In fact, any kind of baked apple goes really well with pork, pork loin, even ham it's nice with. Pork seems to work very well with fruits, especially when it, they're heated and they um, are in a savory dish. It's nice with plums, they're nice with cherries, it's nice with citrus. You know, pork is just makes everything better. <laughs> but it, I like um, doing fruit, especially for side dishes, just as a little something different. It's fall here now and it's a beautiful time to use some apples and why not bake it up with your pork chops. So I'm using some smoked paprika tonight. If you've never used smoked paprika, you really need to get some, okay? Smoked paprika lends a smoky, smoky flavor, a gorgeous color, and a nice savory flavor. Now, I use Lashinata smoked paprika powder, and this is what the tin looks like. Um, I, make sure you check out my reviews for the sweet, the bittersweet, and the hot. Tonight I'm using hot because my apples are nice and tangy and sweet. So the hot's gonna be a nice um, uh, accentuation. And it's going to be for a side dish. So instead of using maybe the sweet for a dessert, I'm going to use the hot to spice it up a little bit. And this is how we do it. Now I've got two little Macintosh apples tonight that I'm going to put in here with it. And I'm just going, first I'm going to peel them. They've been washed. I'm going to slice them into, hmm, maybe sixths. So each, each half goes three pieces, just guesstimate. This is a beautiful fall dish, perfect for the autumn. Now I'm going to core them. Okay, I'm just gonna throw them in a bowl because I wanna toss them with a little bit of oil and a little bit of spice. So I'm using grapeseed oil tonight. You may use canola oil if you like. Use whatever oil it is you have, even vegetable would be fine. I wanna use an oil that has relatively um, low flavor, okay? Less flavor than say olive oil, beautiful olive oil. I want the apples to stand up and I don't wanna coat the flavor with um, another oil. So I'm just gonna to toss those lightly in a little bit of grapeseed oil. Now apples are sweet, they're nice and tangy. And I'm going to use a little bit of smoked paprika, of course, but I'm going to use the hot smoked paprika and I'm not gonna use quite so much as I would on the pork. I'm going to use maybe a quarter of a teaspoon to toss this with. It's gonna be a nice little um, addition to the dinner, a nice element. So just toss that in the smoked paprika. Make sure they're nice and coated. Okay, and I'm just gonna scatter them around these pork chops. So this is what the hot smoked paprika looks like. Make sure you check out Lashinata and my review on this so you can find out more exciting uses for it. That's what it looks like going in. They are going in and I'm gonna check them in about 20 minutes. Make sure you set your timer and these guys are in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Look at these beautiful pork chops. The apples are a nice addition. Boy, they smell delicious together. Now, you can see it's a little bit wet, a little bit moist. And what I want to do is just boil up the tops, get everything a tiny bit more crispy and charred, and that's what you're going to do. So I'm going to turn my broiler on high. Now, I don't want you to walk away from your oven. I want you to watch because you don't want anything to burn. You've got those sweet apples in there that you don't want to ruin. So what I like to do with my oven when I'm broiling is just leave it open a little bit. The heat is negligible. Really, you're just trying to um, crisp up the top, and those burners on the top are super hot. They're still gonna accomplish their job. So I just leave it open so you can keep peeking in there as you're walking through. Don't leave, don't go too far. Make Do it for about five minutes, and we'll see how they're coming. All right, these look perfect. My apples have gotten a little bit of char on them. These are nice and crisped up on the top. The um, the spices on the top have charred a little bit. That's exactly what I wanted. Looks and smells unbelievable. I wish you had smell -a vision or smell -a net or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's plate these guys up. So let's try these guys. Let me plate one up. They look so beautiful. Now look at this gorgeous dish. The pork chop is beautiful. It has a beautiful crust on it. Um, and the apples are nice and tender. I can't wait to try this. Now let's try these apples. They're nice and soft, a little bit charred. Mm. They melt in your mouth, and then you get a nice spicy kick at the end, like a spicy hot applesauce. Fan.
fantastic. Let's try them together. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Mmm. Mmm. You have all the flavor elements that you want. My mouth is just exploding with flavor. You have the smokiness of the paprika. You have a little bit of sweetness from the paprika as well. But you also get that gorgeous sweetness from the apple. Oh my goodness. Then I get that hot spicy uh, flavor from the apple that I use, the hot smoked paprika. Awesome. It's savory, it's tangy, it's smoky, it's sweet, it's everything you want it to be. I don't even want to eat my rice because I just want this. This is outstanding. You have to try this recipe. A really superb recipe. I really hope that you try this. Fantastic. You could even experiment with different kinds of fruit. Try and use a harder fleshed fruit that would go beautifully with this. You, would, you could have even done it with plantains. Plantains would have been a nice option and they would have been done around the same time. Awesome stuff. Mm. These apples are so good, they literally melt in your mouth. Fantastic. Not only would they be good as a side dish, but you could even serve those for dessert. Fantastic. I love the contrast with the hot, spicy smoked paprika on it. Outstanding, outstanding. You could serve it with ice cream, or you could even put marshmallows on to make it more like a real baked apple. Awesome stuff. But it really goes perfectly with pork, and you could even use it with other meats as well. Fantastic. I hope that you try it too. So that's how you do it. That's how you bake smoked paprika apples. You can do it too. Experiment with different types of apples. Work perfectly. Okay? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me on Roku. Make sure you come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com. Come subscribe and interact. Let me know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.